Hello, this video brought you by Sankran, Technical Architect Complete Series. <clears throat> Hi, and this is the first post for my series on Technical Architect. So this will be a guide for any Salesforce admins or developers who want to pursue their career as a Technical Architect. So generally it's that's a talk that CTA getting CTA is very hard because there are a number of reasons first you can't do it in the beginning stage you need at least a few years of experience with the with the variety of pla variety of uh, projects in variety of uh, with use cases you need to work really really uh, really with so many different components in in the platform to get uh, the proper knowledge e even if you read read the documents or the help files it's very difficult to digest so many information and uh, sometimes you won't really understand it may be a simple concept but reading through it will be a nightmare so the main thing is the the areas that the certification covers is quite uh, large it's almost everything uh, everything almost every every big components in the platform uh, are covered so the thing is there are a lot of information uh, even from Salesforce and some third-party companies and some freelancers like me so many uh, in different forms like in blog posts in videos and in in meetups and conferences like that even in dreams dream foods uh, sessions uh, every year there used to be some topic around uh, becoming a technical architect every year so that's not enough because it's all scattered that is, is and uh, there are some guides in um, in the form of book as well but still that's not complete and since if it's a book it it's like a static information I mean you can't uh, um, it's not like uh, online information where you can browse for more information or you can easily edit the information the hard copy book is very difficult uh, in terms of uh, relying on that because Salesforce keeps updating and changing the features every every once in every in every release so it's very difficult to keep up with all those things so I think the uh, having one medium either um, in blog post or or videos series it should be a proper thing so that we can edit and collaborate with users even if something is wrong we can always change rather than a hard copy book so i think this is the best platform so i've just kicked off this series and let's see i hope i will cover this uh, all the topics in the series uh, which will be uh, just one stop guide for becoming a certified uh, technical architect and there are a few problems I have seen in at the moment like like I said there are so many uh, resources out there but um, there's no one place where to concentrate I'm going to do that and uh, like I said there are so many theoretical concepts and theoretical logics theoretical assumptions rather than having any practical knowledge it's very limited because obviously you can't do everything practically and <clears throat> get the in, uh, get the knowledge it's almost impossible even someone working in salesforce can't do that because this uh, each and every feature in salesforce are developed developed from e separate teams and uh, one team doesn't know how the works uh, how the product works from the other team so given that nature uh, as a user or as a developer as a freelancer we also can't no, we can't digest or can't get all the information from just by practice so we need to read 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 a lot and uh, get a lot of information so that's very difficult even if you read we, it takes so many times and the more number of days it takes the more chance that we forget information so there has to be some place where it it shows a lot of information in more presentable way and uh, uh, more easy to understand for different types of audience so I'm going to do that uh, in this blog series you will see how the information will be presented and there's a lot of 
assumptions lot of limitations lot of um, uh, trade offs in in each and every concept in salesforce it's not like a traditional software it's a cloud so you have a shared thing and because of that you'll have so many limitations it's all again it's difficult to digest but still i'm i'm going to put so much hard work and give the those, all those information in very uh, consolidated way so it's easy to remember and just require oh, and, and just whatever required for uh, getting through this certified certification and one more thing it it also requires communication skills because one could uh, one could have proper technical knowledge but uh, since it ha covers like uh, presenting the technical or uh, technical architect stuff to someone in the review board you need some kind of communication skills either in, in terms of words or in terms of visualization presenting in visualization forms and also negotiation and uh, how convincing your talk things like that so i'm going to have a separate topic on that uh, putting all those all the enough information uh, over that and one more thing people say normally is it's expensive and time consuming it's time consuming yes because of the reasons i have just discussed it takes months and months to prepare and no one really have those months and months when we are really busy with the day time the day job so it has to be optimized it has to be a more more easy to easy to the uh, learn and it has to be divided into different subsections and it has to be a very small chunk that one can easily read in their free time rather than going through tens and tens of pages uh, which is very difficult to understand also it's expensive yes it's expensive but it's really worth it and also if you take more than one attempt it's going to cost more so i would suggest don't take unless you prepare prepare either through this series or by any other means and prepare very really really well and before applying for the exam so you will be uh, spending less money by just going through in less attempts rather than simply attending more times and spending lose money losing money and generally it's is expensive but it's one of the most recognized uh, certification which requires good skills so uh, when you get in get this certification you'll be really really worth and uh, when people hire you you can contribute more so you, you can earn more so it's really worth and one more thing i've seen is that less community support because because of the above uh, reasons less certified architects and also generally in a company you need one, one even for big organization you need only few technical architects so there are really very less need for technical architects but that since the number is very small and availability also very small the demand is more so there since there are so many so many less people in in the salesforce uh, community uh, there are not so many people to um, contribute and also there i have seen so many technical architects they're really really busy they always have some ambitions to work on to write like writing books developing an apps or starting their own consultancy or or even come consulting with different clients they really don't have to come uh, have time to uh, contribute to the community not like a developer or admin community where uh, uh, i've seen some really good admin and developers helping other admin and developers it's not like that so uh, really what i want to do is i want to contribute contribute more uh, more for other uh, technical architect whoever want to be a technical architect so that they become and they start contributing in more since uh, if you have a very deep knowledge by getting through this uh, phase uh, really everyone will be a very good programmer really very everyone would be a very good uh, admin uh, so that you you have a complete knowledge so i think this is a very good certifications to get on even if we get it or not just going through it is okay a very good journey so uh, i hope you guys will join and also uh, i'm going to put videos either the video will be just like walking through this blog post 
or it will be uh, it will be explaining some concepts or showing some demos like that i'll be putting that in my youtube channel uh, my youtube channel is uh, nap salesforce you can search for that i'm going to uh, create a playlist here so that you can have a separate playlist and uh, you can subscribe this uh, my, to my blogs blog spot nepsforce.blogspot.co.uk uh, so that uh, you'll get my updates whenever i put a new post uh, so yeah save that in further posts and uh, best of luck for your future career don't forget to like this video and provide your comments or feedbacks below if you like this video and want to share with friends please share them and if you want to notify about my future videos please subscribe below thank you